Hello everyone and welcome to Industry Spotlight with Trader First. Our guest today is none other than the Begum of Binge, Aparna Purohit, head of India Originals Amazon Prime Video. Aparna began her career with Sony Entertainment Television where she worked as an executive producer on shows such as CID and Fear Factor. She has extensive experience in producing films and has held several leadership roles at companies such as UTV Motion Pictures, Reliance Entertainment, the NFDC, Mumbai Mantra and the Sinistan Film Company. She has produced the national award winning film Well Done Abba. A multi-talented leader, she has also led notable initiatives such as the Mumbai Mantra Cine Rise Screenwriting Program, 100 Storytellers a Year and has also dabbled in print journalism, radio and advertising. As the head of India Originals at Amazon Prime Video, she has developed and launched all India originals on Prime Video, which includes Inside Edge, Breathe, Comic Stan, Fomo Shots, Please, Mirzapur, and Made in Heaven. Aparna, welcome to this discussion with Brady First. Thank you for having me. So, uh, I want to start by saying I binge watched Inside Edge, both the seasons. Fomo Shots, Please, oh wow, I was like so excited when season two came out. And made in heaven as well. I think these are fantastic, and you know uh, that's just you know me sharing why I'm such a big fan of uh, Amazon Prime Video. So you've actually worked across all media segments. What's really amazing. So what excites you and keeps you ticking? Um, you know, uh, I just feel this is such an incredible time. Uh, you know, for entertainment in India, it's almost like a renaissance of entertainment in India for audiences, for storytellers, for all kinds of stories to be told. And I think uh, the fact that we can find newer stories every day, newer genres every day, uh, listen to new pitches, find new talent, uh, that is uh, you know, what keeps me ticking. The fact that we can reach out to the length and breadth of the country. Today, Amazon Prime Video is being watched in 99% of pin codes in our country. So, you know, to to imagine what we are writing in our uh, writer's room, uh, you know, in Bombay, uh, the characters that we are developing are resonating with somebody sitting in Assam and somebody sitting in Calcutta, somebody sitting in Andamans. It is just so uh, heartwarming. That is, I think, what keeps me ticking. The desire to just keep finding new stories and new storytellers. With a focus on the creative side of the business, Aparna, what are the challenges and opportunities that the pandemic presented, uh, you know, and what, in your opinion, uh, will change Indian content as we go forward? Mm -hmm. um, see, uh, I, I, I think, uh, you know, it takes a lifetime to form habits and it takes one pandemic to lose those habits. Um, the pandemic, I think, just sort of... Um, you know, pushed forward the revolution that was already at the precipice. Uh, some of the challenges were that, you know, all our productions came to a grinding halt. You know, we couldn't shoot anymore. It was a very, very difficult time. We couldn't shoot. Some of our shows were in post-production and everything came to a standstill. Um, I think that really was the biggest challenge. You know, how do you keep the teams motivated in those really difficult times? Uh, but the opportunity was that everybody was logged in, you know, and how do you uh, provide a ray of hope? How do you provide entertainment to people, you know, who were going through such a low phase uh, during that time? And I feel so uh, uh, fortunate and humbled about the fact that, you know, even in those difficult times, uh, you know, we could continuously provide a new uh, entertainment to our customers. We were amongst the first ones to provide direct-to-service films, you know, and we started it uh, with Shakuntla Devi, with Gulabo Satabo, you know, going forward, Sururai through, and that really became the norm. Uh, we saw a surge in the living room devices. Families now came together and, you know, started watching entertainment together within their homes. The viewing hours, uh, you know, increased uh, 3x in the last uh, 24 months. Uh, so, you know, I think those were the opportunities to really look at what are the unaddressed genres? What is it that we can uh, double down on? Uh, you know, the fact that uh, the, the, some of the insights that we got were, were that, you know, people really like to watch content in the languages uh, that they prefer. 
so you know to really double down on those languages uh, we couldn't shoot but we could develop so much more we could reach out to so many new talented cinematic independent voices i think that was uh, really the biggest uh, opportunity and uh, i i would imagine then that was also a phase where you could experiment with storytelling as well you know i'm so uh, uh, excited to share with you that we actually launched uh, two anthologies one was called unpaused uh, a collection of five short films and uh, there was one in tamil called pudum pudukale which means a brand new day and uh, you know this was short... fantastic i watched unpaused thank and you I watched it with my mum so a lot of content that you know prime makes also is very watchable with family thank you you know gives me nothing gives me more pleasure than to hear this so i mean those those stories were shot uh, you know with keeping all the government mandated guidelines uh, in mind it was very difficult but we reached out to our creators with the sole intent of telling stories uh, that were about hope that there was light at the end of this dark tunnel uh, and that art can thrive in the darkest times so yeah i mean you know we got those kind of opportunities and uh, i'm so glad that these creators of ours uh, you know embrace this vision and you know walked along with us to tell these stories but yet today you have a lot of data analytics you have all sorts of tools available also being a digital platform i would imagine there's a lot of insights that you gain on your audience mm -hmm. how much of your decision making is instinctive when you bring light a film and you know uh, have you ever changed your mind even though the data wasn't possibly pointing towards a particular project you know we are a very data driven company amazon you know and uh, data provides some really incredible and invaluable insights you know what is it that audiences are watching where at what point does the interest of our audiences peaks what are the unaddressed genres what is it that they'd like to watch more of uh you know those are incredible insights what is our uh, audience demographic like you know where all uh, uh, are we being watched those are incredible insights uh and in, on top of that or in addition to that is the instinct uh and that is really uh you know understanding the pulse of your audiences um you know there are not everything can be formulaic not everything you know if, if formula was working nothing would not work so not everything is formulaic you know and it it is it really comes from you know the passion of the creator why does he want to tell this story what is so compelling and differentiated about this story that is keeping him up at nights when somebody narrates a story is it touching uh, you know your heart is there something that you can identify with are those conflicts those conundrums those dilemmas that the character is going through you know can you sort of relate to those uh, that is important to know uh, and that is why you know the stories that we create uh, you know are transcending all barriers of ethnicity of geographies one out of our five viewers of uh, any original is from outside india because they can relate with the emotion and that is really the instinct i'll give you an example when we were uh, when we uh, were developing the first season of the family man uh, it wasn't a pure spy drama and it wasn't a pure family drama yes it's a bit of both you know and uh, and everyone was wondering you know it's neither spy it's no it you know it doesn't have all the tropes of a thriller nor is it like a hardcore uh, family drama would it work but we believe that that is how life is it's a bit of everything and the characters are so identifiable and it worked uh, when we were developing bandish bandits you know it was about two youngsters and their musical journeys and there was a lot of hindustani classical music which was a bedrock of the show uh, would uh, hindustani classical music pose a barrier in people accessing this show but it did not you know and i and i think shankar hasan loy uh, gave such amazing music they made hindustani classical music so accessible to thousands and thousands of our viewers and anand tiwari who shot those songs so beautifully so i i i think that is instinct really and do you see any uh, genres gaining momentum in you know because we we're talking about so many different types of storytelling and i mm -hmm. must say for bandish bandits 
the reviews that I got were from you know very very young people. People are like, oh, it's amazing, you know, this you have to watch this, and I'm like, no, it's Hindustani classical. Maybe I'm you know I I may not have watched it. They said no, it's fantastic. So it's great that the youth took it up. So do you see any genres which you know may emerge in the coming years for India originals? Yeah, no, I would say that uh, you know audiences are becoming a lot more discerning. They are now. Watching content from across the world, so uh, you know they understand the cinematic, uh, high quality content, and our content is in the company of some of the best shows from across the world. So uh, you know, I can just talk about what it is that we are actively uh, looking for. You know, we are trying to see what are the need gaps that exist. So, for instance, we know that we need to really build on. the uh, the comedy uh, sort of ecosystem uh, you know which actually we had started with all the stand up uh, uh, comedies that we had put out at the start of our service and you know followed it up with comics stan and destination unknown and then one mic stand and then lol we know that we want to build on that uh, ecosystem uh, we need to really double down uh, on um, the unscripted you know especially want to enhance the scope to uh, docu dramas to docu series to true crime investigative sports follow uh, we would like to uh, really focus on sports going forward uh, because i think there is there is a very very strong audiences that loves that so we'd like to focus on that uh, but other than that you know i would say keeping a multi genre very balanced slate uh, and really working towards making amazon prime video uh the destination when people think of entertainment aparna how is amazon incorporating a culture of inclusion and diversity within the organization and also in the overall content ecosystem and how are you leading the dialogue on diversity through your content you know that's a great question and personally diversity equity and inclusion is something that i feel very committed uh, towards and very passionate about amazon as a company is uh, you know very very committed to the uh, cause of diversity equity and inclusion you know whether it whether it is in the way we hire our people when we look at uh, uh, you know content when we um, uh, you know talk about the writers room and getting right representation and i really believe that diversity goes beyond gender it is about amplifying the voices of you know uh, of those on the margins of the society you know gender sexual orientation uh, language religion you know all of that is diversity uh, you know and i am i'm, I'm very very uh, uh happy to share that you know um 50% of our writers uh, rooms today are women you know and we uh, you know it's not just about having good intention but having mechanisms towards that you know so when somebody comes and tells us that the story is uh, about women you know we we ask those questions about are there women in the writers rooms you know a show like uh, fomo shots please yes is a show that was fully developed by women it had women writers women directors women cinematographers uh, editors production designers uh, director you know the four protagonist uh, so you know we really try to see that there is uh, there is the right sensitive authentic representation uh, you know and you know if there is there is a story which is about which has a representation from for instance the lgbtq community we try to ensure that there are people from the community who are helping us develop so that you know the representation is authentic that's fantastic and let me just say your passion is infectious <laughs> uh so 70% of my team is all women oh fantastic <laughs> very excited to share that um abana how do you think originals are changing storytelling in india um i think there ha- there is a gradual but a sure paradigm shift that is uh, that is uh, happening and that is for everyone to see really um when we started out 
you know india is a land of storytellers uh, there are just so many stories to tell you know across the length and breadth of our country and there was a very flourishing television industry there still is a very flourish flourishing television industry and there are films but there was this uh, space that existed very fertile space that existed in between for high quality cinematic long format content and that is what we wanted to sort of uh, you know go after um so I, i i think the opportunity to tell diverse compelling exciting really rooted stories and uh, you know stories from across uh, the country i mean where uh, where was it possible that a big show started with uh, you know the first 15 minutes of his first episode in malayalam so if you recall family man season 1 yes. episode 1 yes. you know the first 10 minutes are just in malayalam who i thought was fantastic with the female you know the character was so strong and very yeah. much part of the story it was fantastic yeah, yeah. i mean season 2 uh, you know almost 30 to 40% of the show is in tamil uh, there are um, you know there are so many tamil actors that we have cast in a show like last hour you know we ensured it it set against the backdrop of northeast and we ensured that we had cast and crew from the region uh you know when we were when we were working on pata lok and there is a character of chini if you recall um you know yes. transgender we actually cast somebody from the community uh you know from the region uh brought her to bombay workshop with her difficult path but this was the right path so i just feel the opportunity to tell all kinds of stories the opportunity for all kinds of stories to breathe for both uh, emerging cinematic voices and for established uh, you know voices there is a space for everyone it's it's a lot more democratic and it is liberating in fact you know what you just said uh, you know uh, i'm thinking with so much of diversity you're also creating so many jobs up now when you're saying the authenticity of your stories actually bring you to cast people from these regions that's fantastic because the amount of opportunity for young talent is going to only double i think because of you know just the thought yeah. behind it right uh, how does one uh, and this is more for the general audience how does one get the idea or script to your desk in the age of social media that shouldn't be a question at all you know people just know how to reach us uh, well, you know every day my team is reading close to 5 to 7 scripts in a week we are reading discussing listening to so many pitches so it's i i, I think reaching is no longer a barrier um i i, I just i would just urge uh, you know creators who want to reach out to us that you know uh bring to us stories that you're truly passionate about stories that are really keeping you up at night don't come to us with you know like uh, 15 stories that you have written over the last 10 years and you want to rattle out all of those to us you know don't do that to us uh really come with your passion ideas and uh there could be times when we're not able to go ahead with those stories but that's never a no to you that's only uh for that particular story because we already may have uh, you know a similar story in our development pipeline well we always try to encourage uh, the creators who reach out to us that there may be a note to this one but bring us your next we'll definitely find a way to work together can you take us through the process of developing an original right from the script to you know to screen i uh, it's a long journey <laughs> so you know really fasten your seat belt if you're working with us it's a rigorous and a long journey when uh, when there's an idea that uh, you know we uh, we decide to sort of uh, you know collaborate on uh, we typically put that idea uh, that story into development now development is a is a long process it can be anywhere between 6 to 9 to 12 months uh, and during this period uh, we my team and i we work very collaboratively it's a very uh, feedback driven back and forth kind of a process with the sole intent of trying to elevate uh, you know the story to its best potential um so the process of development is uh, is long and there are multiple milestones so you know first we get all the uh, the sheets or the step outlines of all the episodes 
uh, and then we get into the detailed screenplays thereafter the uh, uh, the, the detailed dialogue drafts. Once we have very robust scripts, we typically ask for three things at the end of development, you know, all the detailed scripts, we ask for timelines or when they want to put it in production because uh, sometimes weather, the climate, the time that you want to put it in development is uh, in production is also important. So the timeline and the detailed budget. And once there is a complete alignment on that, we sort of uh, ensure that there is alignment from multiple other teams uh, and you know once there's an okay from everyone we go into production amazon prime video is known for working with some of the best talent uh, in india and empowering fresh talent in front and behind the camera how yeah. are you translating this ambition into becoming a home for talent especially given your experience in the past you've led so many amazing initiatives even the script, script writing workshops uh -huh. So, you know, I'm sure you have a different take on this. I mean, uh, you know, I would say that uh, uh, authenticity is uh, really the, you know, the foundation or the bedrock of, of it all. We want to ensure that the, uh, that the stories are told in the most sensitive, authentic way. And whatever it is that our creators need to tell that, you know, whatever tools, if they need a script recce, if they need, uh, a, a, you know, script consultants, if they need to, uh, you know, have different writers, different experts, whatever tools, and however much time that they need, we try to give our creators that. Uh, and so, you know, when you really walk hand in hand with your creators with the sole intent of helping them translate their vision to the best of its ability, they see it and they want to keep bringing back their passion projects to us. Uh, I, and I think that is really the key to, uh, to really help uh, creators tell their stories in the best possible way and that may include finding newer talent in front of the camera, behind the camera. We just walk the journey with them. Uh, the idea is, like you said, to be the home for talent, uh, to create this creative community where people feel that their ideas will be nurtured, they will be developed, they will be respected. Fantastic. And I'm sure there are a lot of enthusiasts there. Uh, it's just, you know, probably it's also a matter of confidence in themselves to come forward and contribute uh, in terms of creativity. Uh, you know, so, uh, sorry, I was just saying that when you have a writer's room, you know, yeah. you have multiple writers. So, uh, you know, one show, when you develop one show, you create an immersive universe. And for that, you need ideation, you need uh, back and forth of ideas. So it's not just one writer, you know, it's multiple writers who are sitting in that writer's room. So that is the community that you're creating. So with every show, there are multiple writer's rooms. And of course, when you take it to production, there are so many other people who come and join that vision. So, uh, you know, of course, creating jobs and also creating this community you know, that is what I feel like we are a small part in enabling. Right. Okay. To close things out, what are some exciting shows or movies that audiences can expect from Amazon Prime Video in the coming few months? Uh, many, many, many. Uh, and I would say, uh, uh, you know, like stay tuned. We just uh, launched uh, Sher Shah, uh, you know, Sadar Udham Singh, uh, both the films really well loved, appreciated, Jai Bheem, uh, uh, you know, which is coming out, uh, you know, the Korean dramas are now gaining so much popularity and we've just announced 12 new uh, Korean shows that people can watch on our service. Uh, there are multiple other films. There is uh, the next brand new season of one of the most loved franchises that is going to come out uh, and for more announcements stay tuned <laughs> which one yeah. <laughs> oh yeah but it's, it's there's a lot of excitement for sure yes. yeah yeah so uh, thank you so much aparna for your time and uh, most importantly for sharing such valuable feedback it was a fantastic discussion thank you so much thank you so much thank you for having me thank you have a nice evening <laughs> you too